<clears throat> so I would like to formally welcome everybody to Micro Workshop 2021, the first micro workshop online that there has been. President Kevin Baugh, who is going to speak on explaining micronations and micronations in the media, two very important topics. All right. All right. Well, anyway, there we are. Well, good morning, afternoon, and evening, and night, everyone. <clears throat> I'd rather be in bed, but uh, kidding. Anyway, uh, I am President Kevin Baugh of the Republic of Malasia, and uh, I've got a couple topics here. I don't have any prepared slides. Sorry about that. If the PowerPoint kind of kills everyone. Um, but to start off, explaining micronations is kind of preaching to the choir. I think uh, most everyone who is attending and visiting today are micronationalists on some uh, level or another. Uh, but Micronation is a tiny self-declared, well, usually tiny, self-declared nation. Um, in the case of Malasia, uh, we were founded quite some time ago in uh, 1977. Uh, but I think Micronations tend to uh, rapidly, and uh, um, I think that's an absolutely fantastic thing. Most Micronations uh, will have the usual uh, trappings that a country would have, such as flag, national anthem, and so forth like that. But from there, uh, they can take pretty much any uh, format, uh, I guess, up to the founder slash creator's uh, imagination. Um, and uh, I think uh, I've seen a, a wide variety. When we meet up in, uh, at Microcon in uh, every couple of years, we're supposed to be this year, but it didn't work out because of COVID. Um, it's absolutely wonderful to meet up with microna micronationalists uh, representing all of their various nations and, uh, and the various ideas of what makes a country. And I think that is uh, an, an essence of micronationalism. What makes a country? What, what is your uh, idea as a micronationalist of what a country is? And it could be any, any uh, number of different things. Malasia is a little more, uh, I guess, uh, conventional as we have defined borders and and so forth, we have like an actual physical location on the planet. Many micronations don't, and they're uh, largely, uh, uh, I guess, online for lack of a better description. And uh, that's that's absolutely fine. Whatever uh, whatever works out best. Um, uh, here in Malasia, we've always strived to uh, make our micronation more physical. One of our one of my mantras is doing real things with real people in real places. And because micronations are collections of people, I mean, nations are collections of people, um, usually under one flag, but sharing culture and so forth like that. Um, we have tried to make Malasia as real as possible. I hate using that phrase, uh, as real, as because it implies that micronations are not real. And of course, that they are very real to all of us, all of us uh, micronationalists here. Um, but I guess that's maybe how the world looks at us from the outside, uh, micronationalists. Uh, and my traditions is uh, as real or not real. Um, a question I frequently get from uh, people who are, uh, uh, you know, schools that <laughs> they ping us all the time. Is this a real website? But I digress. Anyway, so um, here in Malasia, we uh, uh, like to, uh, we, we've liked, we have striven, striven, no, strive, I don't know, to make our nation as real uh, as possible. Uh, again, with the defined borders, with the physical location on the planet and uh, intangible things, the thing, and of course, activities. One of my biggest things when it comes to uh, micronations and is um, do something with your country. I mean, it is fairly easy to uh, establish a flag and uh, a national anthem and a government and so forth. Uh, you know, you gathered a few friends and so forth uh, to, um, to create your nation, but um, take it to that next level and try to do something uh, real with it or things that are real with it, real activities, um, because that's what nations do. They, they are people doing things. And uh, I would definitely advocate that uh, with your nation um, that you do just that, um, do real things, do real activities, uh, try to emulate um, a um, established nation, I don't want to really use the term macro nation, but an established nation as much as possible. Um, and of course, again, it is 
whatever you would like to do with your nation. I'm just sort of uh, offering up ideas or or uh, suggestions, uh, if you will, um, for anyone who might be interested in, to uh, as you develop your nations and uh, and build and grow them and uh, and, and do um, just do do things. Uh, we uh, we're very fond of uh, launching rockets here in Malaysia, so we have a, thus we have a space program. Uh, we have our own Navy that's here in the desert because we're, we're fond of doing things that are a little unusual. And, um, and so with the Navy, we have some boats, we have some, some kayaks. And so we deploy the Navy uh, once or twice a year uh, over the border in, uh, in the United States uh, at Lake Tahoe usually, which is not too far from us because we don't actually have any, you know, sandy water here in Malaysia. But again, these are real activities. And, uh, and I think they enhance um, what we do here in Malaysia and uh, and make it a little more uh, you know, interesting, uh, if you will. Excuse me for a second here. Mm -hmm. mm. Morning lemonade. All right. Now, um, so I think I've gone on enough about that. Talking about the media, um, <clears throat> micronations and the media. Uh, Malaysia has received a great deal of uh, media attention. It's kind of a double-edged sword uh, because then that generates more attention and that generates more attention. And uh, rest assured, when the media visits Malasia, it can be rather a time-consuming process as they uh, wander about our tiny nation for hours on end and, uh, and take video and so forth. Uh, but it's good. It's good to get out there. Um, it's good to uh, have a presence out there uh, in, in the world and have people know about your country. Um, it can be uh, um, a little, I guess, problematic. Uh, I guess you know, younger nations don't really have their their name out there, their name made yet, just yet. And but I mean, uh, I always point back to that Malaysia has been around for a very, very long time, and uh, and I think that's one reason why we uh, media attention um, is because we have been around for for such a long time, and also because we have a physical location to visit. Uh, some place for uh, the media to come because they're going to want to. I mean, you know, come come here and and film in Malaysia, this you know, tiny little little postage stamp sized country within the state of Nevada. And and so it gives them something tangible. And I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about you know explaining micronations, um, if you will. Uh, so it gives them something tangible, something to visit, and uh, it can be an awful lot of fun. Um, were there other comments on the chat? I don't really know how this works. Uh, at any rate, so um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the media, uh, usually they will contact us in advance. Sometimes they'll contact us, uh, you know, a couple of months in advance. Um, we have recently, over the past few years, uh, tried to um, funnel uh, visitors to, and that includes the media, to our our set tourist dates. Um, we receive a lot of tourists here in Malasia, and in fact. Uh, on um, actually, we get visitors two, three times a week, even during the winter months. They'll come swinging on by to see if they're, they can take a tour of our nation and and so forth like that. Uh, and so uh, it was becoming a little overwhelming. All the people that wanted to come and visit our nation. And I'm not trying to brag or boast. I'm really just sort of stating the facts and how it is. Uh, and so we we sort of had to uh, uh, narrow it down. I mean, most countries the borders are open if their borders are open. Uh, you know. 24 hours a day. You can, you can go visit Jamaica pretty much any time you can get a flight there, that kind of thing. It's a little harder with a micronation when that micronation is also our home and it's also very small. And so we had to uh, limit how many how many times a year folks could visit and that goes likewise for the media. Um, and because the media visits can be quite time consuming, um, I think grueling is a good word. Uh, we also have instituted recently a media visa and so when the media comes and visit us, visits us in the future, uh, they're going to have to purchase a visa. Uh, it, it's a little mercenary, but it's really not for the money. It's, it's really, really to calm things down a little bit with the, uh, with the continuous, uh, continuous end time consuming visits of, of the media. But it is fun. It's fun to get, get ourselves out there uh, when the news articles are published or <clears throat> on YouTube or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It is an awful lot of fun. Uh, I mean, if you can... Uh, I don't know how to phrase this. If you can get some media attention, I recommend it. Go for it. 
<laughs> and it's always nice to get your name out there uh, as a nation. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what else. I've kind of rattled on here for quite a while. Uh, but uh, that's about all I can think of right now, when, especially when talking to the media. So uh, are we doing okay for audio and everything else? Because I, I keep getting yep. a message from me about the internet. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Um, I know. Talk kind of a lot and kind of fast. But, <laughs> but hopefully um, hopefully that was good. Um, I'm willing, definitely willing to take questions. I mean, if that's, if that's a thing, I don't know if that's a thing here. Absolutely. Uh, I do have one question for you. I think a lot of us might, uh, a lot of people have asked me to ask you, how does one go about explaining a micronation to people who have never heard of it before, who might think it kind of comes off strangely, if that makes sense? How would someone okay. properly explain Excellent. that? Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Uh, okay. So um, I actually get that question quite a bit. Uh, and my, the, the way I usually uh, describe it is um, there are honestly, in, in my experience, two different types of people. There are people that get it and people that don't get it. Um, the people that get it really don't have a problem with the idea of, of a micronation. Um, um, they might need a little explaining as, you know, a little details. What, what are we doing here? You know what's happening here with you know with, with your country and so forth like that but they're going to <clears throat> at least feel the idea yeah all right that's cool that's some country and then you have the folks that don't get it and that's about you know half the population <laughs> and uh, and they just can't really um grasp what's going on in fact um i've even had it to the point where it's invisible to them. Um, at one time, many years ago, we were in a book called uh, The Home, Only Planet Guide to Micronations. And my son and I went to a local bookstore and we did like a book signing. And people would just walk in. I was dressed in the uniform and we had the flag and he was on security and so on. People just walk in and walk right on by as if this is something they see in bookstores almost every single day. And, and it occurred to me then that these folks just don't get it. And because they don't get it, the, the idea of having one's own country it's just invisible to them. They literally tune it out. And it, you can't, but then you have to sort of explain it down to, uh, oh, you know, we're just doing, doing our own thing. You know, we're having a, you know, having a, a good time. And, uh, and uh, it also have to be sometimes careful with, especially Americans with the whole patriotism thing. And, you know, do we hate America and all that, which of course we don't. But anyway, so those folks, you sort of have, have to kind of pat it a little bit and put it in terms that they might understand. Um, well, we're, we're we kind of have our own country here, and uh, and then they will. You literally just say that, and, and then they will. They'll they'll classify it whatever way they can in their brains. And, and you know, uh, in fact, some folks, the libertarians, think this is a bit, uh, you know, big. You know, we want less government type deal, and uh, and so forth like that. So I think it's just a matter of, um, I guess, knowing your audience when you're trying to explain having your own country, and knowing where they're coming from. And then you can turn around and, 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 you know, qualify it in a way that, that suits their, you know, how they're, how they are thinking. And, uh, um, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Really take your explanation as individually to whoever, whoever you are speaking to. All right. Hope that helped. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think that really, like you said, you oh, there's, a, a there's a question over here in the chat. It's a, has media attention uh, ever been overwhelming? I don't. I wouldn't say that media attention has ever been infuriating. Um, it's been irritating sometimes. Sometimes where they're where they're going with their article, and sometimes the articles can be written um, lampooning uh, lampoon, lampooning micronations, and um, you know, there was one that came out, uh, when did that come out? Earlier this year? No, not this year. Uh, earlier in 2020, I think it was, and, and it said, you know, something about fake nations. Uh, and of course, none of us is very fond with that, uh, fond of that phrase. Uh, it's definitely not infuriating, but it's definitely annoying. But you 
can't really do anything about it. Once folks leave Malasia, they're going to build their article about our nation, whatever way I guess that they see fit. Sometimes media attention can be a little overwhelming, um, but uh, I guess, and this is sort of whining, but it, it is, uh, it, it, for us, it's mostly just very time consuming. Um, and so it, it can take like at least a day. And often when we have folks visit from the media, they're like, oh, we're going to be in Malasia for three days and we're going to do such and such. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not hanging out here for three days. I mean, like you and all, but let's try and narrow it down. And once they get to Malasia, they realize it's a very small country and it really doesn't require three days. I mean, we're not talking, you know, you know some gigantic nation like the U.S. or Russia. You can pretty much knock out our nation in a couple of hours. And so time consuming, not really overwhelming, uh, but uh, but uh, oh, I'm just reading one of the comments here. Uh, time consuming, not really overwhelming, and, and not really infuriating, just sometimes annoying, depending on how they uh, present their article. Now, another question came up, uh, how not to be so snobbish? Um, again, I think it's important to read your audience. Uh, see who you're talking to. Um, I, mean, I mean, if you're like naturally a snobbish person, I guess that's just what you are, but, <laughs> well, not, but at any rate, um, but I mean, it's just a, a matter of, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, we always explain it as, as this is a um, uh, an exploration of what makes a country. Um, it is an extension of imagination and creativity. Um, uh, it's been Malasi has been described as an art project. Uh, you know, take it to the nth degree. I really like that description. It's kind of cool. Um, so, again, read your audience and know how you're uh, who you're talking to and how then how to explain it. Um, some folks just aren't going to get it, like I said earlier, uh, and. Uh, um, some folks will at least get it right away. They might need to get a little more, you know, explanation of, you know, the who's and what's and why's and all that. But, but j just understand who you're talking to. You know, uh, mom and dad might not understand, you know, why why are you starting your your own nation? But mom and dad, uh, as long as they don't feel, uh, for lack of a better word, threatened. I don't mean physically threatened, but I mean you're going to do something weird. Um, then they'll probably be okay. Um, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I could really give a script because, again, it really depends on who you're talking to. Uh, we, we appear in the Nevada Day Parade uh, once a year. It's, a, it's the celebration of the state of Nevada. It takes place in Carson City, about 35 miles uh, west of here. And um, there's a the vast majority of folks are, are pretty, you know, in the, in the audience are uh, watching the parade are pretty drunk. But set those aside, guys. Those, those guys, guys aside, um, there are occasionally uh, a few hecklers. And uh, a lot of folks that are just like, where's Malasia at? I mean, that's, and that's that's kind of normal. I mean, we're pretty tiny, and you know, we are on the map. But anyway, um, and for those folks, they're looking at us from the outside, and they really can't grasp the idea. What is it? What is it? What's a nation? And so, it's just sort of a we're just doing our own thing and having fun with this idea of what makes a country and seeing where we can go with it. And um, at that at that point, you might might just get nods, yeah, okay, that's cool. Or you, you I, I really have only run into, I think maybe one or two people in all the years we've been we've, we've been doing this that have ever, um, you know, kind of gotten belligerent and in our face about it, um, faces about it, and uh, and so I mean so that's pretty good. Again, I again I point that back to those folks that might get belligerent don't get it and so they just tune it out it's not a thing it's not dangerous to them um it's not interesting to them so it's not anything to them it's kind of invisible and then you get the other folks who are like yeah hey, that's pretty cool and so and of course those are the folks that we that we like to have around so anyway uh that's pretty much all i have uh, Back to you. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. It's, it's the president of Malasia, Kevin Baugh. Thank you so much. You're absolutely welcome. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, at the end of this, what we'll do is we'll come back to any questions. Uh, if anyone has any additional questions for any of the previous speakers, that'll be just fine.